Hello everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion. I am extremely late with it today because I had another devotion planned, but something happened yesterday. And while i not at liberty to share everything that happened, um, God's given me another devotion. And I had to do some soul searching and some scripture searching and before I brought it to you. So first of all, I want to apologize to those who did not see our de my devotion yesterday. Um, it was up, and um, a few of you saw it, but something happened, and I had to pull it down. And this has been such a heavy burden on my heart all night, all day, um, about this. And it made me think about a great battle that we here on this earth are fighting. Not a battle between each other, but a battle in the spirit world. Now, some people have a hard time swallowing that, but that battle is very real. Um... In 1 Peter 5, 8, God's Word says, Be a sober spirit, be on alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, waiting to devour you. And that is so true. For you see, Satan has such a stronghold on this earth. And he's such a powerful deceiver and liar and he he tries to control everything here he is the god of this world that's scripture he's also known as the light sometimes and he's everywhere if people think satan's in hell they are very mistaken he is alive and well on this earth right now. You know, sometimes we do things for the best intentions because we care, because we um, we're, we try to help somebody. And Satan turns those, that, those intentions around and he turns it into something that becomes ugly. As I said, we live in a world that's full of evil. And when we pray, when we say the Lord's Prayer, we say, you know, protect me from evil. And that evil is Satan. There's a lot of scripture that talks about Satan. He's known as the great deceiver, Lucifer, a lion, a dragon, the light. And if you don't think that he can take something so innocent and turn it into something pure evil, you are being deceived. See, I found out that Satan can use anything and anybody for his purpose. And it's our reaction to that and what we do next as to whether we allow Satan to control the situation are we calling our Heavenly Father to control the situation. And today I just want to spend a few moments with you on how we can defeat Satan so that we don't stop going. You see, for months now, I've been under attack. There have been days when I haven't had a devotion up. Um, and it's been for different reasons. I didn't sleep. <clears throat> for whatever reason, I just could not sleep. The f my phone wouldn't work. The camera wouldn't work. There was no power. There was no internet. It's just one thing after another. Satan was, is, was and is determined to keep me from having the word of our Savior on my channel and I'm not going to let Satan defeat me in that 
But it's not just me, it's all of us. You see, we really don't fight against blood and flesh. We fight against our spirits. The fight, the battle is within us, not between men, even though Satan uses men to do his bidding. There's ways that we can make sure the devil flees from us. There's ways that we can protect ourselves from the evil one. And I have four or five things I want to share with you. One is the blood of Christ. If you are a Christian, if you know that you've been washed in the blood of Christ, you're a believer in Christ, that is a powerful way to defeat Satan. You know, throughout the whole history, history of Jesus Christ here on this earth, Satan did his best to defeat him. He tried to thwart every single plan there was against him, but he failed. He failed ultimately when Jesus died on the cross to redeem us from our sin. The next thing is by the testimony through our word. And what exactly does that mean? To me, that means sharing Christ with others. By sharing your testimony, what God has done for you, how he lives through you, you help defeat Satan's plan. He doesn't want to hear you praising God. And he will do everything he can to stop you from doing it. But if you press on and keep moving forward, you will defeat him. The next one is a powerful one. It's putting on the armor of God. And in Ephesians, it talks about putting on the armor of God. Ephesians 6, and I want to start reading at verse 11. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God so that you will be able to resist the devil, resist in the evil day, and done everything to stand firm. Stand firm, therefore, gird your loins with truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, shod your feet with the preparation of gospel of peace. In addition, take up the shield of faith, which you will be able to distinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and petition, pray at all times in the Spirit. And with this in view, be on alert with all perseverance and petition for all the saints and pray on my behalf that utterance may be given to me in the opening of my mouth to make known with boldness the mysteries of gospel in that section of scripture he tells us how to defeat Satan see the word knowing the word Quoting scripture in moments of evil, in times of weakness, that is powerful. The word is one of your best defenses against Satan. You see, he hates it when we share God's word. He hates it. He can't stand it because he knows he's going to lose. When Jesus was fasting for 30 days and 30 nights on that mountain in the wilderness, Satan tried to get him to worship him. He offered him everything. And what did Jesus use against him? He used the word. And then the last thing, my friends, is prayer. See, this is the most wonderful thing that I've learned over the, yesterday and part of this morning is that 
There is no defense for Satan, no offense that he can take against us when we pray. Oh, he wants us not to pray. He's going to do everything in his power. But we pray, we call on the name of Jesus, and we tell him to flee. He has to leave. He has to. Because that's what our Lord and Savior says. Make sure that you live under the blood of Christ. Make sure that you have the word of testimony. Share with everyone what God has done for you. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. It doesn't matter who knows you, who doesn't know you. It doesn't matter what you've been through. Share, because that's what God expects us to do. And then put on your armor, the armor of God. He will protect you. You can extinguish the flaming arrows from Satan. Use the word and pray. This daily devotion will never go away. I may be late some days because of things that happen beyond my control. But I promise you, I will continue to share God's Word with whomever wants to listen to God's Word. I will continue to share my testimony with anyone who wants to hear it. Because no matter what I'm going through right now, the financial struggles, <laughs> life struggles, just whatever, God is there with me, and I will not abandon him, because he has never abandoned me. I love you all so much. Thank you for joining me today. I hope and pray for each and every one of you that you will find peace in the Lord our Savior and stand firm against the evil forces that plague our world each and every day. God bless. I love you. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow for our daily devotion.